Hello everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games, and welcome to School for the Friendless. What's my name? My name is Big P. The cold wind blew in my face as I stand outside of the building. I stand here real good! I gulped nervously. No! Thinking about how I ended up in this situation. Oh, there I go again, ended up in situations. My name is Big P and I'm a fa- Ah, God, fuck you, game. Little too real. And I'm a failure. Let me explain. I may have managed to do okayish in school for a while. When I got out in the real world, I had a lot of trouble. I couldn't find work anywhere. Nobody would hire me. I was like, don't you want my Big P? And they're like, get out of here, Big P. It's not like I could rely on my friends for support or anything. Actually, I have good friends. Why won't you give me jobs, friends? That's because I never had any friends. All right. My friends were made up. I'm all alone. It's not like my parents haven't been, have been that much help either. I just continue to fail and they just continue to claim I'm not even trying. I'm trying, mom and dad. I guess they finally had enough of me since they sent me to this place. It's a school for those that don't have any friends for one reason or another. Is that the name of my new alma mater? School for those without friends of, or for one reason or another. As for why a place like this even exists, I couldn't even tell you. I'm just worried that when I go inside, it's just going to be the same thing all over again. I'm not going to make any friends. I'll be alone. Hey, girl. I mean, I got, I got to act professional. Oh, well, I guess I better just deal with this. Hey, Tits McGee. The sooner I go inside, the sooner I can get this over with. Hey, girl, can I go inside the building behind you? Um, you got this. Oh, wait, that's my voice. You got this, Big P. You'll be fine. A girl's talking to me. How long are you going to stand there? Oh, ah, a girl. How, how, how long have you been there? Ten minutes. You, you just stood there for like ten minutes? I thought you'd move if I waited, but you didn't move. I thought you were dead. My friend life is dead. Unless you want to be my friend. This girl seems odd. Oh, that means I'm going to get into her and it's not going to work out. Wait, I don't have baggage. If you two are going to flirt, do it somewhere else. Or maybe you want to do more than that. <laughs> what? I bet your head is filled with all kinds of dirty thoughts. Oh, your naughty head. Uh, you, you don't know anything about me. Or my head. Can we just go inside? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Your new name is Grumpy Puss. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm going. I'm sorry. What the hell is with these girls here? Girls, am I right? I walk inside and the two girls follow. Wait, weren't there three? I soon lose them and let out a sigh of relief. <laughs> Oh, that is the best sigh of relief all week. Which wait, which girl is this? You look tired. Who is it this time? I, I'm fine. I'm not tired. I look up to see it's a completely different girl. Maybe maybe this one will be nice. You look cute. Oh. What? How am I supposed to respond to that? She must be blind. So what are you in for? Did you rob a bank? Did you kill a puppy? Did you strip in public? Do you wanna? What? This is a school, not a prison. Well, for some people, it's the same thing. This is a school? Okay, this one's a bit weird, too. Uh, what are you in here for? You don't wanna know. I think your tits are eating your shirt, girl. Last person that asked that, something bad happened to him. Real bad luck. She has a serious expression. Something, something bad? So you don't want to know what it is. Did you crush them with your mega titties? Well, when you, when you, when you say I don't want to know, it kind of makes me want to know more, you know? Don't you know? <laughs> well, um, um. I spilled pudding all over him. By that I mean 
I made a diarrhea. What? Set? Wait, what? It looked like he was covered in poo poo. Poo. Uh, sure you did. I put the Cleveland in Cleveland steamer. All right, I gotta go and get to the auditorium. You're creeping me out, girl. Uh, I want to know what classes I'll have. Is this a school? What is it with the girls here? I sure hope they're not all like that. Trust me, all girls are like that. This was a very accurate depiction of the only four types of girls that exist. Girls, back me up in the comments. I make my way to the auditorium and find myself a seat. At first, nobody sits near me. Ah, typical life. But then the seats next to me are filled up. To the left of me is that one quiet girl from outside. Which one was the quiet girl? They all made noise when they talked. And to my right are the other ones. The one I just talked to is in my media right. Hey, I just saw you out there. We was just talking about poo poo. <laughs> was it me? Um, maybe you mean someone else? How do you know it wasn't my evil twin? Big T. You got a twin? No. She's not really that gullible, is she? Anyway, my name is Anima. I named myself after an uh, anime and an anima. My parents did not like it. They called me Glorious, but I said my name's Animus. Uh, I'm Big P. If this is Vivian. Let's see if I can remember the voices. Yo. Hi, hi, Vivian. Or can I call you Viv, like from um, oh, the young ones? I think I know what you're thinking about right now. Huh? I bet you're pretty excited right now in the pants. Vivian, keep it in your pants. Oh, you're not even wearing pants. What? Yeah, any guy would be pretty happy in your position. Having to go to school? I think not, girl. I think not. She's like, but you mean surrounded by girls? I hate school. Huh? What? I don't get it. What, what was we talking about? Guy stuff. You wouldn't understand. Wait. Wait, if, if I look under that skirt, I'm not going to see a ding-dong, ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-ding, am I? That's what women love it to hear you call it. If you're a man and you're getting busy with a lady, be like, would you like to see my ding-long, ding-along, ding-dis? I think I changed the name of it, but whatever. Ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> that was annoying. It annoyed me. Okay! You're happy because you think you just got yourself a harem. Oh, yeah! Oh, no! I can't deal with four girls bitching at me. I mean, Obaja, excuse me, what? Obel, Obaj. It's okay if you're horny. Whoa, girl. Whoa. Her in 10 years, she's going to be 400 pounds in the trailer park where her 20 kids. Ah, ah, give me a pack of Marlboros. She sounds like a keeper to me. I don't think with my crotch. Lies. I mean, I don't. I use my brain, your little region. Is that normal? I always be thinking with my veg. I'm like, hey, Dr. Veg, I gave it a doctorate. Dr. Veg. <laughs> uh, shut up, girl. You're too loud. You're all too loud. Yeah, I've been told that before. Actually, on a date before. Ah, uh, sorry. And it wasn't sexy. It was at a restaurant. I'm like, I don't care if everyone listens. My story is riveting to me. Are you jealous? Yeah, are you jealous, Enema? What are you talking about? Oh, the grumpy one is, uh, what I call her? Grumpy puss? Grumpy puss? Something like that? She's the quiet one. You're being left out of the harem. No dick for you. So soon was this a harem? I don't think I agreed to this. I don't get it. I never got your name. Scout? Well, I got left. I got left out of this really quickly. Now will you be uh, guys, be quiet. I think they're starting. Okay, everyone, you know why you're here. It's because all of you are a bunch of pathetic losers, and you have no friends. <laughs> oh, 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 you suck, teacher. That was a bit much, wasn't it? Hey, fuck off! I'm gonna kill you. I look over to see Anima standing up. Hey, hey, sit down. Don't don't draw attention in our direction. And you've shown us why you've got no friends, you dumb cunt. Whoa, teacher. 
God, you want me to dent your face in? I will take my memories and crush your brains. Keep this up and we're going to have a nice long chat in my office. <laughs> Anima sits back down. Anyways, we're here to work with you guys. And hopefully you'll leave us with at least one friend by the end of it. I could be your special friend. And we will not rest until we find a place for you to work afterwards. Wait. I get a friend and I get job placement? Where is the school? I, I wonder about that though. Since this is the first day, we'll take some time getting to know you guys. Once we learn enough about you, that'll be enough for us to pair you up with somebody. Forced friends. When that happens, you'll end up sharing a room. What? This is, what? We'll figure out who your partners are tonight. This cannot end well. Shacking up. I assume we're teenagers? Please don't tell me we're like 30 years old. Even though I'm much older than in real life. First off, we're going to do a little survey. My assistant will pass out the clipboards. Take one and answer the questions. The next thing I know... Oh wait, the next thing I know is someone's handing me a clipboard and pencil. I grab them and look at the questions. What is your gender? I'm a mama man, baby. I mean, I'm a man, not a baby. Obviously. I can tell my by ding along a ding a ding a ding this. What's your favorite animal? It's not on this list. How do you not know me better, game? I'm not I'm not sure to be I do know, but it wasn't on the list. How do you like spending your free time? Crying. I mean, um <laughs> Oh Oh god damn it. I wanna say playing video games, but <sighs> this is hard to resist. I'm gonna pick being horny online. <laughs> What time of personality attracts you? Is it an insane one? Crazy! Look, if we're on answering honestly... <laughs> I think I'd like someone interesting. Somebody who I think, that's not that big of an issue, that's not a red flag. And then two weeks later, they're cutting out my kidney, and I'm like, why didn't I see this coming? They warned me they'd cut out my kidney. And that's all of the questions. I don't even know how to feel about some of these. Mostly the animal question is one that pisses me off. Which might mean I have issues. All of us just silently hand the clipboards back to the assistant. So what'd you put? That's kind of private, isn't it? How dare you ask my favorite animal? Be your beaver. I mean, it's not a beaver. But what if us? One of us becomes your partner. Not gonna happen. You don't want to lose your virginity. W -w -w what? <laughs> Damn, this girl is loose. What, 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 what the hell? And I'm not a virgin! Who said I wanted to have sex? Just because I'm an online pervert. <laughs> Isn't that the one thing on every boy's mind? Well, sometimes, but sometimes we're thinking about sports or video games or sometimes we gotta take a shit. We think of other things besides just sex. Guess I'm not a boy because it's not on my mind right now while I think about your titties. I'm thinking about feeding babies. Does that mean you're a girl? Dude, Anima, girls think about it a lot, too. So, no, it doesn't mean I'm a girl, because I got a ding-along a ding dis. Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean I want sex all the time. Just some of the time. Besides, it's mentioned in the school rules. We're not supposed to have alcohol. Oh, no. Drugs? I can live without. Violence? But I need my violence. And sex. Most importantly, sex. Did they write that in the school manual? Can't have drugs. No booze, no violence, no sex, especially not sex. That was definitely written by a sex pervert. Wait, did they write sex t -t -t twice? They also say we can do whatever we want off campus. Hey, don't put ideas in my head. I'm going to get some little mice and put hats on them and make them get married. Stop acting like I want to do this stuff. I just... I... 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 I Okay, looks like all your surveys are in. We're going to be observing all of you throughout the day, because I like to watch. What, teacher? Nothing. But now, head to class. <laughs> My assistant will be by the door to hand out your schedules. I got a name. Shut up, assistant. The classroom is quiet. As somebody who's played many visual novels, 
it seems like 90 to 95 percent of them at some point need to have a classroom scene well it is quiet at first until i walk into the room where do you think you're drawing on that board a penis <laughs> penis goes in me vivian could how could you he's not big enough i like him big you girl <laughs> Why are you drawing something like that? Because it's hot. I just, I think I got wet in my pants. You just peed yourself and made that as an excuse, didn't you? I know I would. Wait, what? Because it's fun! Oh, pee pee! How, how about, how about this? Scout grabs the whiteboard eraser and clears the penis off the board. No! Not the chalk pee pee! After that, she grabs a marker and starts drawing. Wait, a marker? There, it's a gun! Oh, Scout! Ooh! Violence! A little bit of the ultraviolence? But the penis was funnier! Can I, can I like the gun shoot fire? Oh, it's like a flamethrower! Boom! It shoots bullets, you dumbass! Why am I surrounded by idiots? Uh, will you two quit drawing on the board? Who's that nerd in the back? Our teacher will be here in a minute. It's always that one person. That one person. Teacher, you didn't assign homework you said you were going to assign. Go assign yourself to shut the fuck up. I wonder, should I get involved? Yeah, I'm going to talk to them. I walk over to the girls. Apparently I'm a billion pounds. You hear those loud footsteps? Maybe I'll lower them in editing. What are you ladies doing? Drawing a penis on the board. Drawing a gun on the board. Hey, so which is better? Depends on what you're trying to do. I mean, if you want to shoot, well, I mean, I guess they can both do that. If you want to make babies, a gun probably doesn't help. Which is funnier? Um. 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 Oh, man. I kind of want to go with the crazy girl, but... The PP is funnier. The penis, all right? The penis is always funnier. Unless we're in bed, then don't laugh. Oh, not you too. What? Shut up. I didn't think it was hilarious. They just said funnier. Our teacher eventually arrives and tells us to shut the fuck up and sit down. He quickly grabs the eraser and cleans up the whiteboard. You can draw guns and penises all you want outside of class, but not inside. Keep it to drawing. What? What do you mean, keep it to drawing? Like I'm going to manufacture a gun in my free time? I don't watch any of you comparing sizes. Not because I'm tiny. Or sticking yours in anything. Especially not in that pencil sharpener. I thought it would fit. If that happens, we may have to chop it off. Oh my god, he's insane. But enough about that. For your first class, this isn't really much of a class to be honest. For this one, we just go over general school shit and stuff. Are you even a teacher? We'll discuss announcements and, uh, like, work on large projects or something together. As was said at the assembly earlier, we are observing you. We control the horizontal and the vertical. You probably won't get that reference, you dumb kids. So we hope you enjoy your time here today. Uh, we also hope your partner will be a good match for you. Ho oh, oh. ho! Remember, your partner is decided by your actions throughout the day. And once you and your partner are put together, you are stuck together forever, ever, ever. Unless any of you dies or something, then we can get you a new partner. That's not really a big deal. Any questions? The rest of the class is pretty boring. I managed to survive until lunch. Oh, thank God. The cafeteria is crowded. I hope they don't run out of food. My fat ass needs some. It takes a bit of time to get something to eat, but I soon sit down on my buttocks. I'm then joined by those three girls. Can they not leave me alone or something? What's up with them? And why is Animal playing with her food? And what's with Vivian? She's shaping her food to look like, oh God. I can't tell what it is. It's censored. How the hell is it censored? 
As for Scout, she's actually eating her food like a normal person. Oh, these normies and their food. I just eat in silence like every day of my life. So you got your eye on anyone? Nope! Oh, come on, me. What? <laughs> there has to be someone you like. I just met you all. There, there really isn't. I don't know any of you well yet. You, you finished eating already? Yeah, I, I, I didn't grab a whole lot. I don't need a lot. Yeah, I thought boys ate a lot. You're kind of a lightweight when it comes to eating. Wait, are you a feeder? I used to, but I grew out of it. Where, where, where did all that food come from? Yeah, I got more. You can eat all that food? Scout nodded. She began shoveling food into her mouth. <laughs> Whose boobs do you like the most? Vivian. What does it have to do with anything? And you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. I think Crazy Girl might have the nicest boobs. I don't know. Lunch is a lot livelier than it used to. You know, I probably blew all my shots there when I'm like, <laughs> whose boobs you like the best? Probably not yours. It's probably that crazy chick right there. I probably blew it with everyone. <laughs> Before I know it is over, we have to go back to class. Stupid lunch ending. All of our classes are over now. Thank the good Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know if I could take another second of that bullshittery. But it's not the last day. Only God knows how many days I have left. You're going to die soon. What? <laughs> hey, dear. Uh, hey, Enema. Do you want something? Everybody's going to go grab some dinner. You coming? You know, the coming question, I'm sure surprised Vivian didn't ask that. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll be there in a little bit. Great, see you later. She runs off. <laughs> How is she running? I imagine her arms flailing to the sides as she runs like that. <laughs> it seems. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot the teacher's voice. It seems you're getting along with those girls. <laughs> I've told this story before in a video. Reminds me of the last time I went to Canada. I had to stop at the border guard, the Canadian border guard. And he's like, where are you going? And I told him, he's like, who are you going to visit? And I told him, and he's like, oh, you're going to see a girl? As if that was like the most scandalous thing the border guard, the Canadian border guard saw. To go home, Margaret, there was a man who came to see a girl in our country. Oh my, scandalous. Wait, is that what it looks like? That I like one of the girls? Because I might. Now tell me, what do you think of this school? Teacher, you have no life. Um, it's boring. I, I can't lie, it's been kind of boring. You suck as a teacher. Well, that's school for you. Most people don't enjoy it. Yeah, it sucks. Now tell me, do you think you'll have any friends by the end of year? Judging by these women who keep bugging me, I think I'm going to have them whether I like it or not. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure there'll be someone. You will have a friend, you friendless wonder. Um, we'll see, maybe. What do you think of those three girls? Do you have any life, teacher? They're kind of a handful, but they all seem to like you. It's not like I did anything. What's there to even like about me? Validate me, teacher. I'm afraid that's not something I can answer, because I don't know your dumbass. I just have one more question before I go. It may seem random, but this will affect your future. Ah, uh, sure. What kind of books do you like to read? I don't read it's for nerds. Um, porn magazines? Can you even get porn magazines anymore? What's the difference between a porn magazine and a naughty book? Um, the truth is, though, I don't read a lot when I read it. Usually is nonfiction. I like to read nonfiction. I like real stories, historical stories. In fact, I'm reading one now about the uh, revolution in Haiti, which is fascinating. I think it's the one slave rebellion that led to um, founding an independent nation. I mean, certainly when you look at the time period of, um, you know, ah, whatever, slavery in the colonial period. Well, I can't say that's what I expected to hear from you. I thought you were a dummy. Well, what did you expect? Oh, wait, you just told me. Don't worry about it, dum-dum. Thank you for your time. 
I don't want to keep you too much longer. They might not let you eat at that point. Um, what happens if I'm late? Don't worry. The cafeteria will be open for at least a few hours. Wait, cafeteria's open after school too? All right, let's get some shitty cafeteria pizza. See you later. Okay. I go off in the direction of the cafeteria. I find a seat next to those three girls. Is it me or does it smell like sweaty vag in here? And they're just as lively as they've been all day. I don't even want to know what Vivian's doing with her food right now. As for Enema, she's playing with her food again. And then there's Scout, who just won't stop eating. Like seriously, how much can she even eat? Why do I care? Why do I care? Let her eat as much as she wants. That don't affect me. It's ridiculous. I eat my own food in silence like a man. In real life, that's how I eat, because I always eat at my workstation. So the few times I eat when other people, other people want to talk when they eat, and I'm like a feral wolf. I'm eating. So out of all of us, whose boobs do you want to touch? All of them? I mean, wait, what? I choke on my food. Well, what the hell? Why would you ask a question like that? I just want to know. In real life, in real life, I would not understand this. <laughs> Is anyone who's ever dated me can tell you I'm very obtuse when it comes to people hitting on me because I'm usually focused on work and other things. Whose boobs do you want to touch? I don't know. Do you think you want to touch mine? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go watch the Lions play. Well, none of them. I don't want to touch them because boobs are yucky. What if I touch them and milk squirts out in my face? All over my face. You're not fun. Hey, no, no the monster's attacking. Oh no, it's a kaiju! I look over at Anima, who seems to be playing some war game with her food. Ooh, I like war games. She then goes on to act on a dramatic death scene where she puts something in her mouth. I'm gonna die! I let out a sigh. We soon all find ourselves in the dorms. It looks like everybody's going to be sleeping in the same building. I honestly thought that they'd at least split the boys and the girls up, but no. Wait, is this the school that moms send their kids to when they want grandbabies? Is that what we're going to find out the school's real name is? If somebody invented that, you'd probably get rich because people are like, Where are my grandbabies at? I sent you to grandbaby school. Um, we're soon going to find out who our partners are. For some of you, you'll be like, that was crazy what he's talking about. For other people, you'll be like, oh, I know my mom's on my ass about grandbabies. I can tell some of us are excited, but I'm very nervous. What if I get someone I can't stand? What if I get some random person I, I'll barely talk to? What if I get one of those weird girls? Yeah, right, as if that would happen. Right? Are you excited, Big P? Well, that is a personal question. Oh, wait, wait, me? Oh, no. No, I never get excited. I don't know how I'm going to be excited about this. I'm emo now. But not knowing your partner will be part of the fun. You can touch my breasts if we get the same room. All right, you sold me. This is such a bad idea. I'll be like, why can't you be loyal to me, Vivian? You only fucked half the football team and the entire visiting football team. Where's your school pride? I'll pass. Wait, I'm not going to pass? Ah. If we get together, please help me hunt ghosts. Um, I don't want no ghosts. What? A homeroom teacher suddenly appears in front of us. Okay, students. We got the rest of the results, and we decided who your partner's gonna be. He begins reading off names. I guess now I just wait. Well, we've only made one decision, so that's gotta mean... Wait, we actually made more one than one decision. I gotta think we're getting Tits McGee, though. Or not Tits McGee, we're getting Vivian. Slutty pants. Eventually, he calls my name. Mm -hmm. You'll be sharing a room with Guy Ellingsworth. That's not even a girl. He doesn't even have tits to touch. It'd be funny if Guy walks in and is like, oh, I got the biggest tits of all. I guess I'll be with some random dude. I think I remember there being a guy with that name in one of my classes. Hi. Yeah? Guess we're sharing a room. I'm Guy. Oh, hi. I'm Big P. This isn't fair. 
I want a pee pee. I wonder what two boys will get up to alone. I don't know, maybe play video games? You can go now. You can't play video games with us. Yeah, we're going. Seems that Adam and Vivian ended up in a room together. That's going to be a weird room. As for Scout, I don't know anything about the girl she's sharing a room with. Oh well, let's just move into my new room. This is our room. It's bigger than I expected. Man, look at that nice view. Yeah, it looks like it's about the size of a small apartment. I don't care, guy. I don't get to touch boobs now. Well, time to unpack. Both of us got our stuff and dumped it out in our room. Well, all, all organized, and then we chatted for a bit. Well, you know, I like playing Halo, and I hope we can get along. No, I do not play Halo. But I hope we get along, too. But those words didn't mean anything. As we spent more time at school, we barely stopped, uh, talked to each other. I never was able to form a true relationship with him. I guess I'm really not meant to have any friends after- Am I getting the bad ending? Worst ending? What? I didn't even get any- How did I fail with the girl who was just like, touch my tits? How did I blow that? How did I not just say, alright. Maybe a little bit. Connor! <laughs> you can get this game on Steam if you want to play it. I cannot. I. I. <laughs> no! There weren't even a lot of decisions! Boy sounds? Cruel titty tees. Not fair. Well, everybody, I guess for the rest of my life, my guy was. I'm going to have to go back to my parents now who sent me to a school that is for making friends. And they're going to be like, did you make friends? We spent all this money to send you to friend school. I'll be like, no, ma, I blew it. <laughs> I totally blew it. Now nothing's getting blown. Well, everybody, that's it for me. Um, I never touched the titties. <laughs>